Wayside School is Falling Down, Part 2. Mrs. Jules led the children out of the room. If there was a real fire, the children might not be able to see her cowbell. There wouldn't be time to go all the way down the stairs, either. Mrs. Jules led them up the ladder and through the trap door to the roof. If there was a real fire, helicopters would rescue them. The wind was even worse on the roof than it was on the playground. Mrs. Jules stood in the center and held the cowbell high above her head. She looked just like the Statue of Liberty. Everyone stay away from the edge, she warned. Kathy sang, Wayside school is falling down, falling down. It's not falling down, said Stephen. It's burning down, and no one will rescue us because they think it's a drill. Jenny noticed a dark, funnel-shaped cloud off in the distance. Tornado, she screamed. We're all going to get sucked off the roof. A flash of lightning lit the sky, followed by a loud crack of thunder. We're going to get struck by lightning, shouted Todd. No, we won't, said Stephen. We'll burn in the fire. No, we'll be sucked up in the tornado, said Jenny. No, the school is going to fall down, said Kathy. Mrs. Jules continued to ring her cowbell. Kablonk, kablonk, kablonk. The strong wind carried the sound for miles. Suddenly, screams came from down below. Then, the whole building began to shake violently. Earthquake! yelled Benjamin. Fire! corrected Stephen. The school must have been struck by lightning, said Todd. Tornado! said Jenny. All fall down, said Kathy. The building continued to rumble and shake. There were more screams. Listen, said Myron. They're trying to warn us about something. Down below, over 500 kids and teachers were shouting together, Star bringing purple! What are they saying? asked Mrs. Jules. I don't know, said Myron. Mrs. Jules rattled her cowbell. Star bringing purple! they shouted again. It sounds like star bringing purple, said Myron. What does that mean? asked Mrs. Jules. Myron shrugged. Mrs. Jules rang her bell even louder. Star bringing your bell! Wait, said Myron. They're not saying star bringing purple. They're saying star bringing your bell. What's a your bell? asked Mrs. Jules. She rang her bell even louder. The school shook and rumbled. Stop bringing your bell! Stop something, said Myron. Mrs. Jules rang her cowbell. Stop ringing your bell! Stop ringing your bell, said Myron. Oh, said Mrs. Jules. She stopped ringing her bell. Down below, all the students and teachers clapped their hands, but it was too late. <laughs>